least, that does not mean they're not worried, and it does not mean that they're not very disappointed by what they've seen over the last few days. Right, and what many people think is very interesting, Ambassador, is that the president made these comments before meeting with Benjamin Netanyahu, not waiting until they had had their conversation and then stating his position. And I wonder, whatever concern there may be among the people of Israel about President Obama and his position, what about their sentiment toward the prime minister at this point? Well, I feel, Jamie, that uh, what President Obama did is really not done between friends. It was like inviting someone for dinner and advising him an hour before that the chef has prepared a menu that consists only of dishes he either dislikes or is allergic to. I don't see why the haste. And in fact, I think that what we are witnessing today is a comedy or rather a tragedy of errors whereby both leaders, and I must say that in all honesty, are making too many speeches. We'll be hearing all together about four speeches, two from the President and two from the Prime Minister, in the space of about three days. This is becoming a press conference rather than a negotiation. And I think by making those speeches, and especially President Obama by making his speech, is setting a bar and setting parameters which would be very difficult to remove. And I think President Obama may have actually made the same mistake he did early in his presidency by making the settlements the main issue, and by doing that, preventing peace talks between Israel and the Palestinians for two years, and in fact, perching the Palestinians up on a high tree and running away with a ladder, as President Abbas himself has said. How can he be less Palestinian than the President of the United States? Now, by pressing and stating his position on borders and other issues, he's done it yet again. Why should the Palestinians be ready to negotiate for less when this is the public position of the President of the United States. And, and that is why, Jamie, and I've said it to you, I think, before, there are really two things in life one shouldn't do in public, make love and make peace. In both cases, it's a good idea to have your eyes slightly closed and the light slightly dimmed and actually enter into a confidential, discreet, behind closed doors negotiation. By making all these speeches, it makes everybody posture, it creates a press conference rather than a negotiation, and it is doing neither side, nor the United States, nor Israel, nor the Palestinians, any good. As we've seen in the last few years, there's absolutely been no progress. We've seen speeches, but no deeds. All right. Uh, Ambassador Gilman, we really do appreciate your insight in joining us uh, from Israel today. Thank you very much. Always good to see you. When the president begins his address to APAC, we're going to bring it to you live, and it's scheduled to start at the bottom of this hour. And also a quick programming note, because